Hello everyone and welcome to another video and welcome to the Volvo S60 T5 R design all wheel drive. Now the S60 is in competition with the 3 series the Audi A4. So let's find out if it is a real challenger to these cars. The big changes that you would uh, notice are these headlights which go all the way into the bumper and the headlight cluster is completely LED and they also come with the, 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 the follow path as well. So whenever you are turning, the lights would move around and then they would just illuminate that path and also these uh, fog lights that you see underneath are also they are also used when you are turning around to light up the path that you are going at and this this uh, this uh, sort of chrome grill but it's it's like a silver sort of a border around and this big volvo logo in the center along with the camera system so this car comes with four cameras so the 360 camera system and this is one of it and at the bottom you would find this splitter sort of black color splitter that you would uh, see in the front and also the parking sensors around this car and the whole design is pretty much similar to the 19 versions there are only subtle changes to the model and the noticeable ones are the headlights and uh, the R grill design that you see out here. Now the first thing that I notice immediately on the side is the, the fender where you have this crease, another crease that they've given. This is for the strength and the durability. So that is how strong this car is. You get 18 inch double spoke alloy rims along with the your uh, auto foldable side mirror and also the blind spot warning system it comes with and also these these uh, the, the, a very interesting thing that volvo has done is so the passenger side uh, side mirror is only convex while the driver side uh, side mirror is normal so now that is a little confusing when you're driving but i don't know why they've done that because it was just simple to just put both of them convex but for some reason they've done that and on the side there is smart keyless entry system and also these doors are pretty heavy they are solidly made and also one cool feature about these windows is when you are lowering or, uh, uh, or raising them up it's a very gentle one they just don't stop abruptly but they go very slow and just come up very slowly and the fuel tank on the other side along with the the sunroof at the top the door handles you would find the welcome lights on both the doors and also on both the doors on the other side now in my opinion the rear end is something which is just so beautiful particularly the back end like look at this like it's so beautiful the led tail lights that extend all the way till here and also uh, the volvo badging and the s60 badging that you see out here along with the t5 r design all-wheel drive and also the whole look has been made to look uh, pretty amazing like at the bottom if you see uh, you would see the chrome exhaustives and for the first time I mean chrome exhaustives usually wouldn't be a nice thing to see but in this they've, they've really merged it quite well along with a very subtle shade of red out here at the bottom the exhaust tips they have this dual exhaust by the way they are and they are real dual exhaust and not just fake tips but then they have a lot of gap inside them but either ways the pipes are a little behind so they are not quite visible now in terms of boot space you would find 328 liters of boot space and also a very big opening of the boot but in in reality it's a little less compared to the competition the bmw 3 series and the audi a4 but you can collapse the seats the which are split into 60s to 40 the car comes with a versatility pack so you can uh, press the two buttons and electronically fold the seats down and that is a pretty neat feature and also you get the netting in the back along with the 12 volt uh, socket in order to uh, use a vacuum cleaner in case you want to clean the the boot and also a boot light which will be really helpful at night to see what you're loading and unloading and also there is a very small boot clip 
and also this scruff sort of plastic scruff blade so that you don't damage the the bumper and you get a full size spare wheel underneath and because of the spare wheel the size of the boot has been reduced but it's not very less i mean you can still put two big bags but there will be some amount of a space crunch if you want to put more luggage when you jump inside you may be forgiven to mistake the interiors to be very similar to the xc40 in fact it's very very close to the xc40 so so the the interiors in the s60 are very very plush and premium everywhere soft touch plastics wherever you touch it also the door cards could have been a little more different design with a little more colorful but this is just the black interiors completely with the aluminum detailings all around and the aluminum detailing is something which is amazing in this car you get the aluminum detailing on this dashboard as well particularly the dashboard itself is pretty flat where you know you can store a, a few of your documents like the the this book or something and there is also a lip so that nothing would fall off from the car which is pretty clever i don't know why a lot of manufacturers aren't doing that because the the dashboard is something which is pretty essential as a storage feature as well to put your papers or something I mean it's a pretty good thing your gear lever again has this aluminum even the start and the 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 drive selector all these are made out of aluminum and they look so nice the volume control is again aluminum all 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 pretty much wherever you do look across the silver bits those are all made out of aluminum and coming to the steering wheel the steering wheel is pretty uh, handy and pretty right size covered with leather and white stitching and you get your infotainment controls on the right side and the adaptive cruise control on the left side but the adaptive cruise control only goes in a step of 5 km so you can always add in a step of 5 so you can't go 1 2 3 like every single kilometer but 5 so uh, in order to set the particular kilometer uh, say if you if your speed limit is 70 and you want to set it at 69 you have to physically just go to that speed of 69 and then set it and then it will be the set but otherwise the adaptive cruise control is fantastic it, it, it just maintains the distance whichever you want to the steering wheel again is adjustable which is your uh, st uh, telescopic and also the tilt as well so you can do both you also get aluminium pedals in the center you get 12 inch led uh, display multi-information display where you can set the map or the whatever media is going on all of that and also the dials on both the sides the screen is pretty nice pretty premium pretty quality based everything that you touch out here by the way is quality and uh, on the, uh, at the bottom you would find the media controls out here and again if you notice there is no aircon control so aircon control is in the 12 uh, I'm sorry 9 inch infotainment screen coming to the 9 inch infotainment screen uh, you get uh, the, the, the screen is again uh, very similar to the XC40 all the features are quite similar you get your navigation system the navigation system is just amazing on this one and you get your uh, radio controls now in terms of connectivity you get bluetooth you get carplay uh, uh, android uh, auto you get the apple carplay you also get the usb support so you can connect your phone using the usb as well which is again your apple carplay and the the android auto so continuing with the menu you also can do the finer settings like change the mood lightings which are also there in this car and also this car comes with 11 speaker music system just the standard music system but it sounds pretty amazing at the same time and the ac controls are at the bottom but again i have this complaint like while driving if the ac controls are to be used using the touch screen you have to memorize a lot and you constantly have to look at it to make sure that you are clicking the right option it's a dual zone uh, aircon so actually this car has the techno pack uh, which which allows you to have a uh, four way climate zone so there is two for the front and two for the rear passenger as well so in terms of vents you get these four funky looking vents on 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 in the front in the dashboard there is this one feature which i wanted to tell you all was that where in in the start stop feature which you can customize it from your where the car if it's standing in the traffic light it will switch off the the engine but 
if that feature is on and if you put your car into parking mode and open the door the car would just switch off on its own i mean in a way it's a good thing but then sometimes i just want the car to stay on because i'm just going around across to the atm and there's a and everyone's inside the car but then this car would just switch itself off now you get a panoramic sunroof on the top which is pretty nice considering that the, the the it makes the whole cabin pretty airy and pretty spacious and in terms of uh, charging you get two usb charging plugs in the front which is in the handrest and one three pin plug in the back so you get total of three uh, charging uh, plugs and also a 12 volt uh, socket out here 120 watt 12 volt socket in the front and now in terms of storage this car has a lot of uh, storage but then it, it's it's got a very small amount of storage because you can store a minimum like a one liter maximum bottle and then something on the side but it's pretty cramped because there is already the the hand rest which is too thick and then putting things in and out is a little inconvenient but otherwise you also get this uh, one holder uh, phone holder out here horizontally you have to put your phone and also you get one normal storage out here with two cup holders in the center and also a very small hand rest as well along with the glove box which is decent amount i would say now coming to the seats the seats are leather seats napa leather so the napa leather is a soft leather and as a result of that the seats are really cool, uh, comfortable but also at the same time these seats are like the sport type seats and then you see these things on the on the side they really grip you when you're driving or going on the corner they come with 14 way adjustable and also you get the extended cushion at the bottom which is pretty nice on a on a long uh, journey and also you get the same feature for the passenger seats as well and the seats are made out of napa leather and you get this white stitching and also the white piping around and it it's a it's actually the charcoal color that you get these seats in and it's a mixture of fabric and leather now one pretty neat and a clever feature that uh, you would find is the clip in the front glass and where you can put your parking tickets so that you can easily display them the gear lever has this one little niggle and this is that when you are to release there's a button to release the gear lever from the parking into the other mode but when you press that there is sort of a small sound which comes every single time when you press it like it i i just happened to notice it when i was driving it and there was this clicking sound which every time it comes and it actually you can feel it in your hand as well when you're pressing it now one clever feature is if you want your back headrest uh, the rear passenger headrest to fall down of course when the passengers aren't seating there is a function out here feature out here which you press it inside from your screen infotainment screen and then they would just collapse and then you get this uh, wide uh, view from the rear view mirror and uh, coming to the rear view mirror it's actually quite ahead when you are driving it because when i am driving i feel that it is right in my face and then it's just a little in the in the in the forward direction it should have been a little on on this side which was a little more convenient but the whole intellisafe uh, system is also put out here at the top and also there is this very nice feature of showing the seat belt sign on top which is pretty much like a, like an aircraft where you are shown you have to put your seat belt so which is like a quick reminder out here here in the back you get again the leather seats with the white stitching and also the hand rest along with the 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 cup holder and the middle seat row is is as you can see there's a tunnel in between so because of that the the third passenger sitting in between is going to be a little uncomfortable and again there is a hump in the rear seat as well at the bottom and at the the back as well and as a result of that it's going to be a little okay but there is enough of headroom like just about enough headroom but if you sit in the normal seats there is enough of headroom and also legroom is a bit okay-ish because these seats are still pushed forward but if you push them a little back then it can be a little cramp out here you again get the storage uh, nettings as well on both the seats and also very very minimum uh, storage in the door cards one 
feature that is pretty annoying is that when you are getting in and out from the car these door frames are pretty thick and i have hit my shoulder a few times while getting in and out so it you tend to miss them because they are just very very thick you also get as i mentioned before ac controls in the back where you can control the climate because it's got a four zone uh, temperature so even the the rear passengers individually can set their own temperatures and the uh, fan speed or whatever they want to and also you get four vents in the back panoramic roof actually doesn't extend all the way till the 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 rear passenger's head but it's somewhere in between so it just ends somewhere out here so that is it's it's kind of a panoramic roof sunroof but then it's not extended a, a long way behind which i think would have been really nice if it was extended a little more now i tried showing my face but then this big rear view mirror was just blocking the whole view but anyways please bear with me with my half face which will be occasionally covered in between so this car comes with a 2 liter t5 petrol engine that produces 254 brake horsepower and 350 newton meters of torque and this engine is mated to an 8 speed automatic gearbox and an all wheel drive system and in all fairness this car gives you an average between 10 to 10.5 which is quite okay in an everyday run but uh, the claimed average is 11.9 and that you can achieve if you are on a longer run you can you may even go more than that but this is strictly on a day-to-day -day running so which is not too bad and 10 to 10.5 is pretty decent in a city and the power delivery from this engine is pretty amazing there is there is only slight turbo lag but this, this is not even noticeable when you press the 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 throttle and especially if the car is in the sport mode the the response from the system is pretty neat and pretty direct and pretty uh, instant from the the power system this car has the suspension systems that have been uh, refined to give you a much more stiffer setup than the usual there is a compromise between the the softness and the comfort levels inside the the cabin the the seats are no doubt leather seats they help you sort of uh, remove that sort of hardness from the system but the suspension is so hard sometimes that you can actually feel what is on the surface every single bump directly just transfers into the chassis and into your bump so you can literally feel the unevenness on the surface and just because the setup is hard and that is probably the reason why you can feel every single bump and also to do with the fact that the steering has this sort of lightness to it although it is pretty precise and pretty dirty and if you get the feel of it then you can pretty much understand like it's 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 pretty direct especially at higher speeds the 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 steering wheel tends to lag a little bit of the the feedback and there is more of the softness in it and as a result of that you tend to miss out on uh, on, on the, the the essential uh, feedback from the steering system as well and also the vibrations are pretty direct from the steering which you can feel as well but in terms of nvh levels the nvh levels are pretty good uh, like it's pretty nice because of the way the car has been built it's pretty solidly made and that is why the the noise levels are kept in check and also the vibration levels so coming to the brakes they are pretty snappy they are pretty grippy and then the the pedal is not to the uh, travel is not just a very small amount but decent amount where you press it a little harder and then you know you get the braking action which is what i like continuing with the safety systems you get 11 airbags uh two airbags in the front for the driver and the passengers two side airbags in the seat and six cotton airbags and one knee airbag so there are 11 airbags in total and there is also electronic stability control your traction control in other words your brake assist there is also the 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 emergency brake uh, assistant as as well 
there is also belt pretensioners in the uh, driver and the passenger seat so in case there is an accident you your, there is a pretension and as a result of that the, the, you will be held in the in your position in the seat there is also whiplash uh, system now whiplash is something which is really really a neat feature and i recommend uh, that you know cars with these features are to be uh, favored because considering the speeds uh, in UAE are pretty uh, much on the higher side above plus 100 so whenever there's a sudden accident your your whiplash system will help you not snap your head and uh, like your neck actually and this is an essentially a very good system that I would recommend more detailed systems will be displayed on your screen out here on this side so uh, there is also as I mentioned 360 camera system that is pretty neat and that is such a nice system and uh, it's pretty crisp and pretty clear the the whole 360 view and you can individually select whichever view you want to see as well and also there are parking grid lines and there is blind spot warning system there is also tire pressure monitoring system there are isofix points for your child seat on both the rear seats and they are clearly marked they have this cap uh, which you can open and also close and they are also hinged so that you never lose them there is a heads up display which is very crystal clear and bright during the day even the interiors whenever you go through a crash the interiors are meant to absorb all the energy from the accident and also there are auto door unlock features where if you have an accident it will unlock the doors and also the famous Volvo's IntelliSafe system which will help you with your lane assist your adaptive cruise control and also the various alert features where if there's a pedestrian in front of you or if the vehicle suddenly stops in front of you it will break but the only issue that I want to come across is the price now this car this exact spec starts with 179,900 the base version starts with 159,900 this one starts with 179,900 and to be honest it's a little on the higher side because considering the competition which is your 3 series your a4s uh, the audi a4 so uh, this feels a little on the higher side 10 20k which is somewhere the bms would cost you 160 the highest one so i mean the price point is something which is your own choice like if i were to pinpoint it then you know there are a lot of safety systems against that there is the the sporty engine that you get so i would say this car is handsome this car is bold it it is it is unique in its own way it's got the styling it's the the volvo over the last two years has evolved and the sales figures are a proof to that that people like the whole design feature as well i would recommend that if you are to you should definitely shortlist this car and try to have a test drive and see it for yourself it, it makes a difference for you anyways that is pretty much it for this video give it a thumbs up if you like this video and if you want to subscribe to my channel click here and if you want to watch more videos then click here anyways until we meet next time bye bye